Hi everyone, this is lecture four. In this uh, video, we'll talk about encoding categorical data when building machine learning models. Right, so we are in the process of uh, uh, creating data or data pre-processing. And we talked about missing data and categorical variables a little bit earlier, but now I'm talking a little bit more about categorical variables and why do we need to encode them, right? Um, we are utilizing a library called scikit-learn, which I introduced in the previous video. And now I will talk about one hot encoding and why do we need to encode. Now, remember we are trying to build a relationship between the dependent variable, which is y, such that it is a function of x, because obviously this x, which is features or independent variables, these depend in some way or the other, or these uh, influence my dependent variable. So I'm trying to derive this relationship somehow, right? Uh, but I know that this feature vector has certain uh, categorical variables. Let's go back and see what those are. Uh, okay, keep, uh, go to spider. Now looking at our X, right? I have the state and uh, each customer belongs to and their gender, right? Let me show you the Excel as well, right? So remember this was the Excel that I'm using. This is the input data that I'm using. And so each customer has a state and then also a gender. And notice these are not numeric values, right? So why, are, why is it important to convert these into numeric values? Because we are trying to create this mathematical relationship, right? So I need some form of numbers there. Now, one way to think about it is that what if I uh, represent, let's say, New York, NY with one, NJ with two, and CA, California with three, right? And similarly here in gender, if I say one and two. Now, it's, it's okay if I'm trying to represent each category or each uh, categorical variable uh, or each observation with a number, but then when I'm trying to build a model, uh, my model can um, actually have a bias introduced in it because it, it might take that numerical value as some range or some order, right? So it might think that New York is one, which means that it is less then, then, then two, then three, and so on, right? So we don't want that order to be there, but we still want uh, some sort of a numeric representation of this, right? So how about we create vectors, right? How about we create vectors such that, for example, for the state um, column, right? I create a vector for New York, so it's one, and then zero and zero. So I, I create a binary vector, Right, so this is what one hot encoding does, right? Create a binary vector such that I'm able to represent every observation using this binary vector. So this is essentially my New York, right? So position one, if it's one, that means it's that state, right? Similarly, this is my New Jersey, right? So this is NJ and, sorry, NJ, and then this is going to be my California. Right? So this is what one hot encoding essentially does. Uh, it kind of converts my categorical variable into numeric binary vector, right? And how do we do that in Spider? So that's the big question. So let's go to Spider, let's go to Python, and then uh, build that, right? So I'm going to create these binary vectors for each of New York, New Jersey, and California. And notice I have another categorical variable, although there are just like two uh, values to this, this column. Gender has only male and female but still I want to represent it numerically so I can do that as zero and one, right? So I'll again create a, a binary vector for each of this, this. So let's say for male it's one, zero, and then for female it's zero, one, right? So let's create these binary vectors in, in Python. So how do we do that? So again, uh, we don't have to worry too much because there is this library called scikit-learn which I introduced last time, right? Uh, so we can use classes that are already there in scikit-learn and then create this one hot encoding, right? So what all do we need? The first thing that I need is from sklearn, the module that I'm importing is .compose because this has something called a column transformer, right? So what column transformer will do is it's, it's going to transform the data in the column, right? So I'm, I'm importing .compose and from .compose go and import column transformer, right? So this is column transformer. So that's the first class that I need, the column transformer. The second class I need is one hot encoder because that's what converts, that's what create those binary vectors, right? So that's the second class that I need uh, from sklearn. The module is pre-processing. And as you will see going forward, we use this pre-processing a lot, 
right? So maybe if you're good, if you're familiar with this uh, well enough, it's going to be really helpful, right? So from scikit-learn.preprocessing, import something called one hot encoder, right? So this class is going to give me um, the one hot encoding binary vector. Right, so because these are classes, column transformer and one hot encoder, we have to go and create an instance of the class and then apply the required methods. Right, so the, the way I'm doing that is, uh, let us assume C is my class. I mean, this is the most, this is the thing that comes to my mind. You can name it anything you like, right? So I'm going to create an instance of this class. Transformer, so did I, did I spell it right? Column, transformer, yeah, that's right. And then it takes in two parameters. Right, so the first one, as you can see here, it takes transformers, and the other one is the remainder. So I'll explain what both mean. Right, so the transformer is the parameter that's going to take take the arguments like what exactly do you want to do with it? So I want to create an encoder, and then what all columns do you want to encode? Right, so this is what transformers. Sorry, it's transformers. Right, you can see in the drop down. Right. And what it takes as input is a list of tuples, right? So the first one is going to be what mode uh, do you want it to work as? So that's that's encoder. The second one is the class that you wanted to uh, utilize. So we already imported that, which is one hot uh, encoder. And then which columns do you want to encode, right? So which columns do you want to encode? You have to give them in a, in a, in a for, form of a list, right? So if you go back and check what all columns you want to encode, it's column number zero, right? Remember Python begins counting from zero and then one, two, right? So zero and two. So I can give the list of both of them here, zero and two, right? So I created this uh, instance of my class, right? Let me go and execute this before moving forward. Okay, so that was created, cool. Right now, I can apply uh, methods, for example, fit transform to this um, instance of my class. What it will do is it, is it is going to create a new matrix of features that will have these new columns created of zeros and ones of those binary vectors. Right. So what I want to do, you can you're free to create another feature vector, but I just want to uh, repopulate this x with this new feature vector, which, which is which is with this new transform data. Right. So that's all I'm trying to do, which is why I'm like reassigning x. Uh, with something so that's c dot the moment you do dot because it's an instance of that class it will give you all the methods that are applicable i want to use this and what do you want to transform obviously the existing x right but then remember we want everything in the form of a numpy array because that's how we are going to utilize our data going forward right so i will just do sort of a type casting on this and do an np dot array so just like convert this outcome into a numpy array, right? So that's what my x is going to be. And then let's print x to make sure that we have what we want, right, before moving forward. Okay, so we already created this. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah, so this is important. Now notice that the rest of the data is missing here, right? But we don't want to like get rid of the rest of the data, right? The salary, the bot. Uh, bot and all of that, age and, and, and the rest of that. And why did that happen is because we forgot one more argument here. That's an excellent point. That's good that it happened here. So what we have to do is remainder equals pass through. I completely forgot about it, right? Uh, so what we want to do with the remainder is pass through. That means let it retain it as it is, right? So let me retain that as it is. Okay, so let me do this right from the beginning. Let me create this again. Right. Okay, so what we'll have to do is we'll have to run everything again and read in the data again, but that's fine. Let's do that. The only thing is it's going to take a little bit more time, but that's fine. Okay, so here it is. It didn't take a lot of time. Cool. Um, okay, so we have a couple of print statements. This is my final print statement. Yeah, so here you can see that I have like, for example, this binary vector is New York, and then this is mail and then this is the age, and then this is the salary, right? Again, uh, this is New Jersey, and then this is male, and then this is age and salary and so on, right? So we created these binary vectors, and this is what one hot encoding is, right? So we have a feature vector that has all numeric values, right? Now, the like one extra thing that I would like to do here is that also do something similar to Y, because remember what my Y is, this whether the person bought something or not, 
So I want to do encoding of the dependent variable as well. So let's quickly do that. And with that, we can end this lecture. Uh, encoding a dependent variable. Because remember, we have to create that mathematical relationship and we need all our variables in uh, some particular form. So again, I am just using scikit-learn.preprocessing and then using a something called a label encoder class. For the dependent variable, usually we do that because I don't want multiple columns for that, right? I just want to encode uh, the outcomes in, in a numerical format. That's what, that's what I want to do, right? So that's why it's different here and it's not one hot encoding here. Right? So I'm using label encoder here and then create an instance of this and it does not require specifically anything in, in our situation. So all I have to do is label encoder and then it doesn't require any arguments necessarily. Just create an instance of the class and then reassign y just like I did earlier. Right? And l dot bit transform. What do you want to transform? y. So that's, that's what I want to do here. And then let's print y and see what happens, right? So this is how we deal with categorical variables when we are doing data pre-processing. Okay, so, so here we have like instead of yes and no, we have zeros and ones, right? So we are all ready uh, with all numerical data. In the next video, I'll talk about uh, training set and test set and splitting the data set into two and a little bit about feature scaling. Thank you.